the one negative to using rabbit tractors. When the rabbits figure out how to get out, they keep getting out. Yes. So today we're talking about rabbits and rabbit tractors again. We haven't really talked about the rabbits in a while, but uh, from previous videos, most of you probably know, if you've been following along with us, that we're pretty big fans of the rabbit tractors. And we really like the design that we have, but there sometimes are some issues with it. And I'm gonna show you here one of them, which is kind of our error, really, to be honest. So here's the tractor with the jailbreaker. And actually this is not the first time that uh, they've gotten out. And you can kind of see there right at the front where the rabbit I just showed you at the beginning of this video escaped. <laughs> so this was a little bit of our error. Uh, basically this is the downside to tractoring the rabbits on such lush forage the positive is there's a lot to eat the negative is you can't always tell where the ground is completely uh, flat and uh, that's one negative to these tractors but on the plus side these rabbits are doing really really well I just need to move the tractor again <clears throat> so the one good thing about the tractors is because they are mobile you don't have the constant pressure on the fence so to speak because if you're moving this around multiple times a day this kind of thing doesn't happen very often. We still maintain that these younger rabbits, these younger Dargent rabbits, uh, aren't big diggers. But, as you can see, if the ground's not flat, they might still be able to squeeze underneath the edge of the uh, tractor. The nice part of it is, they're quite docile. And even though these aren't handled daily, like, uh, you know, picked up, that sort of thing, they're pretty calm, and they're waiting patiently for me to move the tractor, because even though they still have some food there in the back corner. They've actually eaten quite a bit today. Well, we've got them moved. And uh, as you can see, everybody's happily munching. This video kind of started out with an escape, but realistically, this is not something that happens very often. And uh, they do quite well in the tractor system. They just do eat a lot. It's amazing how much rabbits eat when uh, you're kind of giving them a forage diet. One thing we've been finding with them too is uh, earlier in the year they were not super big fans of the yarrow but right now they seem to have uh, really changed their minds about how tasty yarrow is. As you can see they're almost uh, picking it out at the moment. So this is maybe a good time to give you a bit of a peek as to what things look like in our rabbit tractor area right now given that uh, we're now the beginning of September and uh, for us, we still got some time before the grass stops growing, but uh, I think it's interesting when you see the, the difference here. Here is another group of rabbits, and you can see they've actually eaten it down pretty good. I'm going to move these ones as well. Uh, today they may actually get moved three times. We'll just see if, how that goes. But you can see in front, this is an area that the rabbits have had access to. And uh, it actually looks very similar to a lawnmower, except it's not uh, super even. You can see some tufts and whatnot out front. But if I look around the tractor, you can see quite clearly what they've eaten and how much of it they've eaten. Versus, as I start to get over to the uh, left side of the screen here, you can see the grass is a lot thicker and uh, they haven't been up there in a bit. But one thing that's really interesting about this is, as they pass over it, they're obviously fertilizing it and the grass really seems to grow back a lot better even though we do have this patchy look still at large as you can see in front of me all the sort of matted down grass and whatnot and if you really look closely you can see what they don't like and that's creeping charlie that's something that they uh, really don't eat at all and so that kind of gets left behind but this has been used this past week and uh, it'll be amazing to see how quickly this grows back because over here you can see in the foreground where the rabbits have been and you can see behind this was two weeks ago now that was rabbits on there and it's grown back really really nicely so it is amazing when you're just actually grazing rabbits how uh, how well the 
air quotations, pasture does. The other nice thing about rabbits and tractoring them like this is it's a short cycle. That's the inherent, I guess, great thing about rabbits is it doesn't take a long time to grow them out compared to other things such as sheep or cows. So we are at the point right now where the four litters that are out here are pretty much to harvesting size, which means we've got the biggest rabbits possible pretty much uh, all out here eating at the same time. So I'll do a little pan around here of the uh, various tractors that are on the lawn and you'll definitely see that they've eaten a substantial amount of it. But the nice part of it is we will have some other litters coming out here. So you're going to be starting the cycle over again before we get to sort of actual fall where, where our stocking numbers are going to be lower and uh, they'll stay a little happier and the grass will grow back faster because we'll have less biomass on the lawn eating what's available for forage. This is a good example. You can see, uh, well, basically rabbit turds intermixed here. This is an area that obviously these rabbits have been on fairly recently. And you can see they've eaten most of the available forage down pretty good. And uh, that is the nice part because they are spreading all that manure back onto the pasture or lawn, the rabbit pasture, I guess. And uh, it does seem to make a big difference. On the flip side, you can kind of very easily see they do eat grass, but it's not their favorite. What they really like is the mix of all those weeds, things like dandelions, clover, which I guess is technically not usually considered it to be weed, but uh, they like it. Things like black or hop medic, these little yellow flowers here. So having this variety definitely seems to be a good thing. And like any good pasture management, we are going to overseed the lawn with some things that they actually really appreciate, such as clover. Uh, so that basically going forward, this will just become a richer and richer pasture. Which means we should be able to grow rabbits better and better year after year. And one last example for good measure of the difference from where we move the rabbits to where we put the rabbits. You can see right in front of the uh, tractor here is where the rabbits were removed this morning. And they've eaten that down pretty good because when you look in behind and what they have now, they uh, are doing quite well. And this is this is still one of those things that uh, I think we've come to the conclusion, but it's a little different from what you tend to, to hear. For us, we've definitely found two of the tricks to growing rabbits going to say to the biggest size fastest for lack of a better way to put it is space and food the more food they have available the faster they seem to grow but we've been definitely finding with the champagne d'argent the more space they have the better they seem to grow as well and that's one thing where we find these tractors are a really good compromise because you're giving them a lot more square footage per rabbit and they're constantly getting moved to fresh ground or at least fresh within their life cycle uh, while they're out in these tractors and it does seem to make a difference. The one thing I will say is the larger they get, the smaller that space gets, and the quicker the forage is eaten down. And that's why today we started this video off with the escapee because as you've kind of seen as I've gone around, these rabbits were all moved this morning when we did chores. And uh, even though we typically move them twice a day, they were definitely ready for new ground and new food. So we still haven't caught that rogue rabbit, but uh, like all livestock, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence and uh, that guy will fill up and he'll be a lot easier to catch tonight. But uh, anyways, super short video I think today, but it's just kind of a, where we're at with the rabbits. Uh, it's working really well this year. We've had uh, really great success with them out in the tractors and uh, definitely something we're going to keep doing. But it's interesting to see, when I say I, I call this pasture, but it's basically the front lawn. It's interesting to see how it changes over time with the rabbits basically having access to it. So uh, it definitely seems to grow a lot thicker. And uh, one thing we noticed during the middle of the summer when it was kind of a borderline drought here, the, uh, the lawn was actually the greenest spot because the rabbits sort of ate it down and amazingly it continued to grow back. So kind of an interesting observation. It uh, stayed nice where the rabbits were. But on that note, I think that's kind of our video for today. If uh, you haven't already, if you happen to find this video, definitely uh, hit the like button, subscribe, because there will be more rabbit content. Although uh, we kind of do it 
periodically throughout the year because uh, let's face it a lot of the time there's not that much going on that's the one nice thing about a lot of livestock so on that note hopefully you uh, enjoyed this and we'll uh, talk to everybody later